Hey guys, it's Twins with Soulful. We're going to do a little experiment today with the uh, solar cells here that you used to build a solar panel. We're going to see if uh, cracked and chipped solar cells still produce power uh, during the sun. So I'm going to have to tab this solar cell. You see I got some used tabbing wire here I'm going to uh, use. And I got me another piece here for the ground. So we're going to see um, how they do in the sun. So I'm going to uh, adjust the camera real quick and we'll start tabbing this uh, solar cell. Alright uh, guys, so I went ahead and tinned my uh, soldering wire here, not soldering wire, tabbing wire, and so it would adhere better to my solar cell. Let's see if we go and uh, solder it on real quick. Let's see. Hang on a second guys, let me uh, find something to hold down my tabbing wire, keep it from moving. Alright, so I got me a little uh, piece of metal there to hold it down. So let's go ahead and uh, solder the tabbing wire onto the solar cell. Hopefully it'll keep it from moving. Ooh, I burnt myself just then. Add a little more solder onto that tabbing wire. Alright, so I'm not going to bore you with the rest of the soldering here. I'm going to go and uh, tack on this wire and uh, do the reverse side, the back side of it as well. Then we'll uh, take it outside and test it out. Alright guys, for the back, if you never uh, soldered on a tabbing wire, you'll have three contacts here where you will uh, solder your tabbing wire onto. Got my little flux pin here, which hopefully is not dried up. It may be dried up. Let's see. So we might be getting some. There we are. Just dab a little flux on the three contacts there. So, all right, just something to note there. All right, so I got my tabbing wire soldered on securely to the solar cell. There's the front, and there's the back right there. I got it on this side. That's just a mistake. I didn't mean to put it there, but uh, yeah, let's take it outside and see how it does in the sun. Well, guys, I'm outside now, and uh, fortunately, I ended up. Uh, breaking the solar panel as I was taking it outside held on to it a little tight right there it's already starting to crack again but that's okay since we're seeing if it could produce power anyways it really don't matter so go and clip on my multimeter leads here get this right here there's my negative and positive as you guys see the uh, meter is reading uh, hopefully you pick it up right there 0.55 of a volt, which is pretty good. Let's change it over right here. There we go. So 0.55 of a volt, which is really good. That's what it's uh, rated at. Let's start chipping away at it and see how it does. I reduced it a little bit down to uh, 0.555. Let's see. Let's keep uh, chipping away and see how it does. Actually, that seemed like it helped it out a little. 0.56 now. Uh-oh. That was a good bit. Well, ended up cracking the whole thing right there. Dis disconnecting the, uh, what do you call it, the uh, negative and positive there. So, well, that was unfortunate. Wish I could have cracked it more. But, yeah, guys, you saw it was still producing power even when it was cracked. So, um, the panel full panels pr produces about a half a volt or 0.50 of a volt so that was actually even with this uh part here broken off this side here broken off it was still producing the half a volt which is pretty amazing actually right now i don't know what i've done but it's producing one volt which is pretty cool huh that's interesting well anyways guys uh, that's just a little video talking about if uh, you could use cracked solar cells to uh, produce power to make a solar panel out of so all right got any questions feel free to leave it in the comment section thank you all for watching